Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me. It means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. Really excited today to share with you the messages that have been coming through. So many things to talk about. We've got a whole lot to talk about. But before I do, I just want to say a big thank you to whomever sent me this beautiful unicorns deck. I shared a card yesterday, I pulled a card out and this one flew out the deck. I'm going to be talking about this in a second because this is so significant. So thank you to whomever sent me this deck and a big shout out to Tonya for sending me this beautiful wind chime. So I've put it on the wall. You know, what I try and do is if you guys send me anything like that, I try and put it on the wall behind me so you can see them. You know, these have come through before. So a big thank you. And a thank you for all the things you send me through Amazon, through PayPal. You know, it means so much more than you know. So I'm going to be announcing something on the channel later. Do look out for that. And we've still got one day to get involved in the giveaway. So if you want to win, meet the angels or the deck. Uh, messages from heaven you can still get involved with this giveaway so i'm going to be doing this tomorrow i'm going to be announcing the winners on the channel tomorrow so what's happening today then well it's sunday today we're moving into march tomorrow and i love it when it's a brand new week and a brand new month it brings power in you know when we move into monday and it's the first of the month it's powerful and we've been waiting for this energy for so long and it just feels so good and so exciting. You know, and the sun's out again today and the blocking throat chakra because there's a lot of healing going on right now with communication. And it's so exciting because before I even bring in the cards, I got so many messages yesterday. So first of all, I got this deck coming through. So I thought, OK, I'm going to shuffle the deck and see what comes out. And we got this stunning direction card coming out absolutely beautiful and the thing that drew me to this straight away was the light above the feminine's head because this is clearly the divine feminine stepping into power and bringing in light so it doesn't matter how much gray area there is in the connection because there's now you know everything isn't always black and white you know the way that it should be there's always differences and that's why we're being asked to be flexible and adaptable to be patient and calm and to learn to surrender. So this is like the light going on. And I love this because, you know, that's a real illuminated colour. And this is showing you that no matter what confusion is going on, there will always be a way. You know, a way will be made. There's a solution. So this is the divine feminine moving forward. And it says not a horse. And this is number seven. And seven is connected with manifesting your dreams and horses are connected with freedom. So this is saying I'm not a horse. And I'm connecting with Pegasus energy when I connect with this card. You know, you could see there as a unicorn because you've got that beautiful horn there. And I feel that horn is leading the way. So this is direction. It's also about the passion and the fire and the heat between twin flames. You know, the kundalini that rises up, the turned on energy. And you've both been turned on to this connection. So there's a lot of power here, direction and strength. And this is showing you you've been shown the way. So I'm feeling the Pegasus in this card. So I wanted to get the card, the Pegasus, to show you from the animal totems. Now, when I was doing the March horoscopes and I shared them all yesterday, the Pegasus came up for a few signs. And I've got the card out. And when I was getting the card, because obviously this is from a deck where I had to search through the deck to find it. Look what was in the deck. And this is Throat Chakra from the Angel Therapy deck, which was just kind of in there. And I was like, wow, this is a massive sign today that the Pegasus, who is not a horse, is opening Throat Chakra. The angels are helping you to lovingly speak your truth. So this is a huge sign. And the angels want you to pay attention to the signs you see today. And to know that even if something doesn't seem related, it's always related. That's why I leave ads on videos, because there's always a message in there. Even if at first you can't see what it is, you know. So before you so, be so like quick to skip through things, because there's messages 
And what I mean by that is, if I hadn't picked up this deck, if I hadn't received this deck, okay, and this is determinism, remember, every, every, every event guides you where you're meant to go, okay? So if I hadn't received this deck yesterday, I wouldn't have pulled this card, and I wouldn't have gone to this deck to get this card out. So everything has a purpose, there's a reason. So even when things don't seem to be related, they always are. And that's why the angel message for today is to pay attention to the signs that you see. Because the universe is always communicating to you what you need to know as a twin flame, as a spiritual being, as the person that you were meant to be. So the Pegasus is healing the throat so that things can be spoken to bring you guys back together because you are divine magnets and you're being brought together now in this energy of March, which is all about action. So there's a lot of power and change. So the angels are helping you to lovingly speak your truth. So I feel that's what this card is signifying, that things are moving forward in the direction to allow you to speak your truth, to come together, to sort things out. And the Pegasus is the dreamer to fly among the clouds. This is the power of freedom that the Pegasus releases in us. This magnificent creature comes to you in times of great need to lift you above the ordinary and to take you to places extraordinary. Go beyond your perceived limitation and open your heart to your dreams. How beautiful is that? So the last few days we've been receiving messages from Archangel Michael that we are safe, from Archangel Metatron to trust in divine time, and also Archangel Orion, the angel showing you that your dreams are manifesting, that things are coming true. And that's what these cards are saying. So pay attention today to all the signs you receive because everything is related in so many ways. And me and George yesterday were watching Spooks. And Spooks is a series about MI5. And you wouldn't think there'd be anything twin flamey in there. But there was. They were having a conversation. I've written it down. And he said, the unions are gathering strength. The unions are gathering strength. And I had to pause it and write it down. And George was like, what are you doing, Liz? I said, didn't you hear that sign? The unions are gathering strength. It's happening now. Everything is related even when it seems unrelated. Watching that show yesterday, I was meant to, to show you that your union is gathering strength and it's happening now as we move into March because March is power. I also got another sign which I thought was amazing because they were doing the crossword and he said, what's a, a female, a male deer for letters? Okay, a stack. What are the odds of that? Okay, so a stag and the unions are gathering strength. I was like, wow, you know, the promise of union, the unions are gathering strength. This is about your mission together, power and, and passion and purpose and everything falling into place. So the Pegasus is around right now lifting you up to raise your vibration, to keep you strong, to move you into positivity, to move you where you're meant to be. So don't let anything get you down today. Stay uplifted because things are moving ahead. And I received another sign in that show, the number 510, okay, 510. And it was really standing out, you know. So I wrote it down and I checked it last night and I was like blown away by the number because it's a sign for me, but also for you collectively because that's how I see you know, the angels show me through signs, things I watch, things I, I, I just know, you know, it's like a knowingness. Because remember, we spoke about determinism. Everything has a purpose. Everything is related, even if it seems unrelated. So pay attention to the signs you see. So the number 510, before I even go to this, book five is about change and 10 is power. So the angels are saying as we move into March, there's changes coming around that are powerful, powerful change. The unions are gathering strength. I love that. So 510 in this book says, let's have a look. It says, uh, let's find it. Here we go. Your hard work, which is what you're doing, working on self, raising your vibration, feeling strong, sending your twin love, knowing that this is real. 
your hard work and your dedication, which is you knowing that this is real, not giving up, keeping moving forward, perseverance and motivation are being recognised. So it's being recognised from heaven. Know that you are always connected to the divine and that experience of it is always personal. Now that blew my mind. The experience of your connection with heaven, your connection with your twin flame, your connection with the divine is always personal. It's like, wow, you can't write this stuff. The angels are saying to you, pay attention to the signs that you see because they are always personal to you. Even when something feels unrelated it's always related to what you're going through why because the universe is giving you a preview of what's to come the universe is always communicating to you through the things that you see feel hear and experience in your day-to-day -day life so a very powerful message today coming through even before i do the cards to let you know that this is real that you are connected and that you are safe absolutely beautiful message Okay, let's do the cards then. So I'm going to bring in today the divine timing deck because we're moving into a new month. We're going to bring in this beautiful, um, you know, angel deck, this unicorn deck. And they just guided me to this as well because I'll bring this up in a second. Got another card to show you. I'm going to bring in the divine feminine messages by Megan Watterson. And we're going to bring in the masculine messages 101 to see what the energy of the connection is. And I want to do a divine feminine power message to take us into March. But the Pegasus, which is the main powerful message of this reading, the number 510, okay, it's also guiding me to show you this card in one of my favourite tarot decks. And this is the Tarot of the Celtic Fairies, okay, one of my favourite decks because the Puka is the, the kind of dark side, you know, they've got the dark and the light in this card, and this is the Chariot. And you can see there, you've got that beautiful unicorn, very healing, very pure, very cleansing. And then you've got the darkness rearing up behind. So this is about facing fears and moving forward. And this is what's happening now. So the puka is a big sign of things moving forward. A lot like the Pegasus here, dealing with fears, dealing with change. You know, movement coming in to heal the throat chakra. So a lot of healing happening right now. And that's the message I want to share with you today. So I'm going to use these. I'm going to put these back into the deck. So let's shuffle and see what's coming in because every day I'm shuffling. So let's do this. Thank you, angels. And they're giving me fear. Fear in the throat chakra. So things are being healed. So don't worry about when they're going to communicate to you. If they're going to communicate to you, because they absolutely will. So what do we need to know, please, angels? What's going on for the feminines today? What message do we have? There we go. Look at that for the feminines. For the masculines, what message do we have today, please, angels? What message do we have? And for the journey, what do we have for the journey? Wow, look how they're jumping out here, okay? Taking out the ones that are jumping. Okay, I'm not going to take the whole deck out. That would be silly. There you go. So we've got those ones. What do we need to know, please, angels? What timing things are happening? What do we need to know for the feminines? Thank you. For the divine masculines, what's going on? Wow, jumping out. And for this amazing journey, there it is. Thank you, angels. What do we need to know for the divine feminines today, please? For the divine masculines today. Wow, look at this. There's a romance angel card in here, new love. New love. And that's really powerful because this came out the other day. This is moving into a new love. That means it's something new's coming in. The connection has been reborn. It's about you having something new to love in your life. A dream, a goal, a project. Something magical is flowing in. And it's new. So it's moving to a new phase. This is what this means. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So this is about you opening up to you. It's about the energy of the connection stirring up. It's about you both being reborn. So you're both somebody new. So I'm not surprised that card is kind of in there. There's another one here. I've got angel bumps. This is happening today. This is a sign of power. Look at this. Let go of control issues. You know, what happens is with me, you know, I do it constantly. I do it constantly. I use different decks, as you know. And when I put them away, sometimes I do it that fast. I mix cards up. Okay, I'm only human, you know, and... 
everything happens for a reason so that on days like this the cards are there you know some days i shuffle the cards and there's cards in there i don't even know they're there but other days they stand out like this so the angels are saying to you this has been reborn now into something new new love it's been reborn it's been rebirthed so let go of control issues allow this situation to unfold naturally really powerful really powerful so we're getting extra messages today love it thank you angels must remember to put these decks in the description what do we need to know for the masculines thank you angels and the journey wow look at that powerful stuff what message do we need to know if these falling on the floor today let the cards fall where they fall what do we need to know as we're moving into march thank you thank you thank you let's do this tarot deck too what do we need to know for the feminines for the divine masculines and for this amazing journey well look at that coming out okay so i've got my cards we're going to use the masculine 101 to see what the energy is of the connection but i feel the energy is throat chakra healing things moving forwards focusing on your dreams let go of control issues because it's been reborn into a new lot really powerful so what's the energy of today there we go can we try this again wow can we try this again now there's a song in jesus christ superstar one of my favorite uh, musicals and it says can we start again please and mary magdalene is singing it because jesus has been taken to the cross and you know there's all this pain energy around and she's singing can we start again please can we do it again you know can we begin again and it's also a big sign about that's what resurrection is you know, sometimes you have to die to be reborn. And on this journey, we kind of die. You know, the ego dies. Our old self dies. We get reborn into who we are. We get resurrected as a spiritual being. So can we try again? Can we start again? That's exactly what this connection is. It's a new love. It's a new beginning. It won't be what it was. It will be something better. So something better is on the way and it's coming in now as we move into March. Really powerful. So can we try this again? Love that. That's the energy of the connection today. That's a fresh start. That's new beginnings. That's a new month. That's wiping the slate clean. And again, another reason why I've possibly been drawn to white today. Very cleansing, very pure, very healing. Very healing to move forward with power. What energy is around the Divine Feminines? Divine Feminines, I've got two cards coming out. Marriage sounds good with you. Wow, and I love this one because, you know, this came out in so many ways yesterday. You know, the members reading I did, it came up marriage. You know, there's this in the Pisces reading as well. This is all around this energy. It's about moving it to the next level of love to the next stage of the journey and even if you don't like marriage marriage will sound good with your twin you know if your twin doesn't like marriage maybe they've had a bad marriage marriage sounds good with you you know i've never wanted to get married but marriage sounds good with george not that i'm getting married by the way but you know this sounds good it's not just about you know that piece of paper it's about a sacred union it's about a sacred coming together and remember, you are married anyway. It's up to every individual couple if that's something you want to pursue. But this is about a sacred marriage, a sacred union, and it sounds good with them. So feminines, you know, you can see yourself married to your twin. You can see yourself spending your life with your twin. And we've got don't pay attention to my moods. So remember, there's moodiness on this journey because we go through the roller coaster ride, highs and lows, ups and downs. So your mask is saying to you today, don't pay attention to my moods. But this is more for the feminine today. So I feel that you may be up and down in energy. Maybe you're feeling their energy. You may feel a bit moody, maybe a high and low. And, you know, maybe you've got your cycle too, your menstrual cycle. You know, we've got the full moon. The full moon can affect our moods. You know, there's 
energy around today, powerful energy as we move into March. So don't pay attention to my mood. So you're kind of saying that to your masculine today. So if you're masculine watching, you know, don't pay attention to your feminine's moods, ups and downs, highs and lows. Your feminine loves you. If you're tapping in with this with your mask, and if your mask has been moody, don't pay attention to their moods. What do the masculines want to say? Look at this. I want to show you off in my world. Love it. I want to show you off in my world. So this is about starting again. New beginnings. Can we start again, please? Okay. This is what's going to be spoken. This throat chakra activation, the Pegasus coming in. Powerful things happening right now. So let go of control issues. So the feminine message is to know or the message to know as you're moving into March. For masculines too, love conquers fear. Love it. Love conquers fear. Can we start again, please? Okay. Love will always conquer fear. What you are experiencing physically is ascension now. I know you've been feeling this, you've been telling me in the comments section, yesterday I had neck pain, I had shoulder pain, it's gone today, okay, that's burdens, responsibilities, change coming in, tooth pain connected with decisions, head pain connected with pressure, if you want to know about ascension signs, go to the playlist, twin flames, everything you need to know, and there's a video I did there on ascension, it's got a big thumbnail, it says ascension, you can't miss it, it will explain all the things you go through and why. Because everything you're experiencing right now is ascension. It's that you're experiencing your energy, you're shifting, you're moving towards union. So you're changing, you're growing, and you're becoming who you're meant to be. So of course, you're going to go through ascension symptoms physically. Because your DNA is changing. You know, you're upgrading. You're moving into your higher self. So you're releasing things that need to go. That's why it's a powerful time with this snowfall moon to cleanse, to release, to let go of anything addictive, toxic, anything not serving your soul. And I spoke about that yesterday. And I did a very powerful kind of reading on Pixie Power Tarot about that. Now, you know, I'm going to bring it up here because I'm actually going to kind of stop posting as much on there and stop posting that content here because I've been doing a lot of pick a pals on there that I really feel will help you and benefit you. So I'm going to be posting more stuff here. Okay. But if you want to check that out, that still resonates today. So, you know, it's what, what has been cleansed, what's been healed. You were guided by angels and you absolutely are. You know, the angels are all around you. That's why pay attention to what you're seeing. That's why the number 510 is so significant right now. And look at that. The camera moved and it, it moved up there. See that up there? That's Buddha. Okay, that's Buddha up there. So Buddha is reminding you to lighten the load, to have fun, to smile, to enjoy the journey. And that's what 510 is signifying to you. The energy of change, that you were shown signs very personal signs on this journey. For the masculine, this is the masculine messages here. We've got Rabia, the queen of saintly women. I am in service of divine love and I move the way love asks me to move. Wow. I move the way love asks me to move. So your masculine is focused more on moving towards love right now. The way that they are guided to move through love, that love conquers fear. But I feel this is how they see you. They see you as very passionate, very sexy, very dynamic, you know, very Queen of Wands energy, but also like a saintly woman or man, okay? Remember, it's the energy. So they see you in your power and they know your truth. They see you as the one because they see you as pure. Doesn't matter what you've been through, who you were. They see you as pure and for them, a saintly woman or a saintly man, someone who's connected with the divine. So this is a big sign of how they see you and things are moving forward. I'm seeing a lot of action in this with fire moving into the energy of March, the energy of Aries coming in in March, things shifting and changing, movement power. So they are moving towards love, keeping the fire burning. We've got Perpetua, the saint of authenticity. I am my authentic self in all circumstances. So they see you 
as authentic, dynamic, sexy, passionate, powerful. They see you as everything they want and you are helping them to become their authentic self. Because the masculines are learning to become who they're meant to be. They're guiding themselves forward. They're being guided forward. So this is a big sign that your masculine is moving into their authentic self as we move into March. Look at this, believe. So the number 11 around the masculines right now. So they're waking up, aren't they? They're going to see 11, 11, 11, 1, 1, 1. They're going to be shown the door because 11, 11 has been shown the door. It's the universe opening the door saying, come on then, you know, let's walk through it together. You're being shown another way. You're being guided what to do. So the masculines are starting to believe, not just in the power of love and the power of heaven, but in, in themselves. They're gaining power in themselves. That's why you can feel this shift within them. And you are beautiful and strong. So the masculine has seen you that way. That's what I'm feeling here. This is what I'm feeling when I'm connecting with these cards. Your divine masculine sees you as beautiful and strong. It doesn't matter if they are a man or a woman or if you're a man or a woman. The, the kind of sex is irrelevant. This is about the energy. So your masculine sees you as beautiful, sees you as strong, dynamic, sexy, strong, authentic, being you. And that's what matters. And that's why they are starting to believe in the power of love. We've got not a street lamp. Number 15, clarity. So look at this. You know, we've got this powerful energy, the Pegasus. I'm seeing this as a Pegasus. And I know it's a unicorn because it's a unicorn deck. Okay. It's a unicorn deck. But I'm seeing this as a Pegasus. Okay. And the angels are also reminding me that when the unicorns come through to you, they come through in the energy of a horse, but they're not a horse. You know, if you're connecting with unicorns, the first time I connected with a unicorn, I saw a horse in my mind, but it wasn't a horse. It was not a horse, and I knew that. I just kind of knew that it was a unicorn. But unicorns aren't these fluffy white pink creatures that were shown in society. You know, they're very real, very beautiful creatures. So they may be sh like show themselves to you as a horse. But I'm feeling Pegasus energy today, okay, because I'm reading these cards intuitively. Strong, powerful, not a street lamp. That means you're receiving guidance from within. Clarity. Archangel Uriel illuminating your mind to the truth. You know, I'm seeing this a lot like the, that street lamp in, in The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. You know, the lamp that guides them back to the wardrobe and leads them out of the wardrobe. So you're being guided where you're meant to be. So the masculines are gaining clarity. And wow, look at this purity, not a dragon, not a dragon. So this is saying it's not a dragon. It's not a horse. It's not a unicorn. It's a pegasus. It's bringing in new beginnings, purity, cleansing. There's a butterfly in there, transformation. So your masculine has been transformed now to see the truth. They're moving where they're meant to be, purity, cleansing. This is the energy, this full moon releasing things. And look at this. We've got the sun for the divine masculine. They're being rejuvenated. You know, I absolutely love this card in this deck. It's one of my favorite decks of tarot, this one. You can see the rejuvenation. You can feel it. You know, you can feel your mask and they're rising up, you know, being risen. This is a message, thank you, angels, about being risen. Resurrection, healing. Can we start again, please? Things being reborn, things happening now. You know, we've got this energy flowing in of March. We've got Easter in April. This resurrection energy healing. So believe, very, very powerful messages. Love this. For the feminines then, look at this one. Wow, this is not a wave intensity. This is 21. So this is connected with 2021. And it says intensity, not a wave. Now I'm feeling with that, it's not a wave. You know, people talk about the waves of the twin flames and all these things. And you have to remember that your journey is personal. That's why we've got the number 510. Your journey is personal. Pay attention to the signs for you. Take what resonates with you. It's not a wave. It's a unique journey. And you are riding that wave. The tsunami of your life, your emotions, you're harnessing your emotion. You're realizing that you are in control more than you realize. It doesn't matter what anyone else does, says, or, you know, 
acts, it's how you feel about it that counts because you are the kind of surfer of your life. You know, you are the master of your life, your creation, your reality. You're in charge. You're riding that wave. And remember, don't pay attention to the moods, okay? Don't pay attention to my moods. So this is you harnessing your power. And that's what you're doing as a divine feminine. You're riding the wave with intensity. So in 2021, you're feeling more intense. You're connected. You're taking control. That's what you're doing. You know, you're riding that unicorn divine feminine because you were taking control. And look at the beautiful colour. You know, it's very mermaidy. I'm connecting with mermaid energy in that card there. I'm connecting with the power of you, aqua colour. You know, beautiful aqua colour of Archangel Sandalfin, hearing your prayers. Archangel Shamuel guiding you forward to seek what's seeking you. Everything's moving forward right now. We've also got not a boat journey. Wow. And this is 22. So the energy is, remember everything happens for a reason. The energy is flowing in between now and 2022. It's not a boat. So the angel is saying to you, it's about the journey, not the destination. And it may seem like a boat, but you're being guided. So you may feel like things are just happening to you, but they're not the happening for you because it's not a boat. It's a spiritual journey, a spiritual path. So see the journey you're on right now as a boat ride, but it's not a boat, it's a spiritual mission that you are on. And 2022 is all about the mission that you have together. That's why you've seen the white stack, because 2021 is the completion, bringing it all together. And 22 is about your mission together. Wow, and there it is. There it is for the feminine, not a horse direction. So you're gaining direction right now towards your dreams. You're gaining clarity. You're moving forward. So things are happening and they're happening now. And we've got not a clock time. Wow, not a clock. So the angel saying it's not a horse. It's not a clock. You have to think outside of the box. That means you can't put a clock on this connection. It means like the angels came through to say to you, let go of control issues, let go and trust in the love, trust in divine time and everything will be okay, look at this, we've got Aquarius energy, this is powerful stuff, this is the 20th of January to the 18th of Feb, this is showing you things have started speeding up, so we're moving into the age of Aquarius, there's power coming in, thank you angels, this is what this is showing to you, it's this powerful time now. Things have opened up now. Doorways now. This is why from this energy of February, you're feeling things changing as we move forward into March. So the energy of Aquarius, the age of Aquarius, the time we're in now is speeding things up. The warrior saint, that's you. May Bargo, the warrior saint. I, as a divine feminine, that's you, are a warrior of love. My devotion attracts resources and support. How powerful is this? I'm going to read it again. Okay, 510. Okay, listen to the message. Listen how the angels repeat. This is why we learn on this journey to pay attention. So this card says you are a warrior of love. Your devotion attracts resources and support. And the number 510 says your hard work and dedication to growth are being recognized. Know that you are always connected to the divine and that experience of it is always personal. So you're receiving the support you need. You're being given the power because you, divine feminine, are a warrior of love. And you've got here, Abandameya Ma, or Anand, Anandameya Ma, okay? They just give me the word abandonment in this card. So this is about you healing abandonment issues, knowing that your masculine is healing them too. The joy permitted mother. I am my own guru and I know the self that never changes. So remember, you are your own guru. That's your intuition, your connection with the divine, your higher self, power. I am my own guru. I know that self never changes, thyself. So this is about going within and knowing that you may change, but your higher self knows. 
and that never changes the fact that you are connected with the divine and i feel this is a big sign about abandonment issues being healed they really guided me to that word within that word so it's again about paying attention and look at this what you've got the wheel and i love this because this is about cycles seasons changing things shifting so this is like mother nature coming through to you saying to you you're moving into a fresh cycle a new love a new beginning in love this is newness march change spring energy things moving forward things are springing forward now so put your hands on your hips and know with confidence that you are strong that you've got this it's like let's do the time warp again you know if, it, if things are going you know insane you know it's about a jump to the left things moving to the right everything's moving this is what they show me today you are cosmically connected with who you truly are very powerful so for the journey then wow look at this we've got the, i love this card okay this is the nine of swords but this is um a changeling okay in this deck so with a changeling you it, you're looking at that that it could be a baby okay so but it's not a baby it's something that's changing into something else now changelings are very mischievous very naughty creatures okay they've got an agenda and this is showing you that your mask has to grow up you know so you will try and nurture the baby you may try and give everything to your twin flame but they can hurt you along the way because they're changing they're not what they see okay because they are evolving and growing and you've also got temperance so you've been shown here to have patience with this journey you know this is like the spiritual growth along the way you know that the feminine can be very hurt by the divine masculine shocked by the divine masculine feel betrayed and it may feel along the way like your masculine is kind of sneering at you or you know doesn't care but they do so this is the message that says don't pay attention to my moods because i am changing i am growing and they show me this too is like leaving things behind you know he's got a glass of wine in his hand there he's got two glasses of wine and you know that could be whiskey in there they give me the words whiskey and wine so this is about releasing addictions letting go of anything toxic and you've got that beautiful kind of goat there for adventure so this is about things moving forward, things moving you where you're meant to be. We've got Sarah Lacali, Queen of the Outsiders. And on this journey, we feel like an outsider until we find our soul tribe. Because you may not understand or be understood, even by your close family or your friends. But other twin flames get it. You know, we get it because we've been there and we've done this before. I have arrived, I am where I will always be in love. So, you know, you'll always be in love with your twin flame. So focus on the power of that and know that you have arrived. You're exactly where you're meant to be. I am where I will always be in love. You'll always be in love with your twin. You'll never change that. So remember, they're your anchor. They anchor you into your heart. They show you the way. You are your divine masculine's constant every step of the way. And we've got November for karmic endings. So ignore the November for a minute because I'm using this as a tarot deck. This is showing you that karmic endings are happening. Okay, it's all happening now. Maybe someone's karmic ending happened in November, but they're still dealing with the consequences of that. They're still dealing with the fallout, the way it makes them feel. They're still dealing. You know, sometimes the masculines will come out of a situation and need time alone or maybe they jump into something else to heal what they needed to heal from that before they come to you there's always a way okay everything is determinism everything is meant to happen for a reason everything happens to bring you together because all paths lead home and that was the reading yesterday so there's karmic endings happening now we've got wow well, look at this not a centaur fighting spirit and this is the number nine about spiritual birth, new beginnings and change. So not a centaur. And I love how these cards are like not a unicorn, not a, not a, a, not a centaur. They're saying that isn't in there, not a unicorn. That just comes to me because the angel's saying it's not a unicorn. It's a pegasus. It's showing you the masculines are being reborn. You've got this, okay? They're not a centaur. So they're not, not a horse and they're not a man. They're somewhere in between. So this is the spiritual aspect of the journey. I'm seeing this as a stack. Okay. The masculines transform with the energy of the stack. 
the feminine is like the butterfly. They're just reminding me here how the things that seem unrelated are always related. That everything happens for a reason. Now, this morning, this, this is what they're guiding me to tell you. This morning in the bathroom, I was having a shower. And I've got a mug in the, in the window, okay, that I keep a toothbrush in there to clean my false tooth because I've got a false tooth. So, you know, that was there. And then George had got his shaving gel and he'd taken the top off. And the top was sitting next to the mug in such a way that it looked like a swan. Okay, the mug, the the kind of this bit of the mug here, okay, and the bit of the shaving gel, like the top of it, it was placed in such a way that it looked like a swan. And I was guided to that, and I was like, "Wow, it's the divine feminine energy. It's unconditional love. It's the way the feminine transforms." So the angels are telling me right now, intuitively. That the masculine sign of transformation is the stag and the feminine sign of transformation is the swan because the swan moves over the lake with ease and grace very beautiful you know you look at a swan and you know they're giving me fear there you look at a swan and you don't see any fear you see beauty but when the swan moves creates a lot of panicky energy or you know because swans when they move fast they're a bit scary, aren't they? You know, they're a bit scary. If they come at you, they can do damage. So it's showing you things are not always what they seem. And remember, your masculine is transforming. So this is not a centaur. It's the fighting spirit of the power of the connection. Really important to know that. And wow, not a flower vulnerability. So remember that this is about you being vulnerable and loving and kind and opening your heart to love. And he says, not a flower, but I feel this is you blooming like a flower. And look what we've got. We've got the bee. And the bee is a sign of miracles, communication and magic flowing in. And I'm seeing this here as a cloud over the connection. So you have to move that cloud out of the way by changing the way you see things by changing your perception, by realizing that your thoughts become things and you have power. So you may look at that from a distance and see a flower, but you go closer and you see it's that beautiful unicorn there, bringing in clarity and change. We've got not a car hunting. Oh, it says not a cat, okay? And I saw car there, so it cars are about movement. So it's hunting. Now, this cat, look how powerful. I love these cars. So it's a cat that's a unicorn. So it's not a cat, but it's bringing in movement. So this is strength and independence, power, okay, hunting. That means finding things. This is the masculine chasing down the feminine, hunting the feminine, wanting this action change, not a car. So there also may be something coming towards you that's not a car. So a train, an aeroplane, you know, some form of transportation. So I feel this is also a sign of restrictions being lifted, things happening, independence. This is the masculine taking control. This is definitely a sign of the masculine moving towards the divine feminine. You know, I love this because when I'm tapping in with the energy, let's see if I can find the cards. You know, I put the cards down everywhere. There it is. You've got the divine feminine with direction and you've got the divine masculine with hunting. So I'm seeing this as the feminine and masculine moving towards each other. Feminine taking control, letting go of control issues, and the masculine moving into independence and strength. Very powerful. We've also got, look at this beauty, not a peacock. So peacock energy around the connection today, power, you know, the beauty of the feminine, confidence. So both twins gaining confidence today, gaining power, gaining strength. So the angel's saying to you, let go of control issues because something magical is coming in. And the Pegasus is moving everything forward and moving you where you're meant to be. So don't pay attention to moods today. Remember, it is the full moon. It's about can we try this again? Have a great day, sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.